Today we're going to visit a little bit about pest control in pumpkin production. I have a, an extensive background in pumpkin production and it's my favorite thing to talk about. So this is a joy and if you have any questions about this, please feel free to contact me at the information listed on the slide. Weed control is so, so important in pumpkin production. And here is just a photo example of that. On the left is a very nice clean pumpkin field. It was a joy to pick in. On the right, if you look closely in there, you can actually see pumpkins, but pigweed, foxtail, all of those things. And unfortunately, that was a you pick patch. So that does not allow clients a pleasant picking experience. So this is something that we really want to work hard at and it actually provides better pumpkin production if we can control those weeds. So weed control options in pumpkins, there is some tillage, hand pulling or hoeing on a small scale, mulch can be very beneficial, but typically a lot of commercial production is the no-till planting. You're actually planting in wheat stubble or into cereal rice stubble. We do have herbicide options available and quite a few for pumpkin production. We have pre-emergent options, Command, Curbit, Dacthal, Prefar, Sandia, and Strategy are all pre-emergent options. We also have post-emergent options depending on what you're controlling. Post and select are grass herbicides and then also some of these are spot spray. Gramoxone, Roundup, they would kill your pumpkins so it is spot spraying. And then the rest of these can be over-the-top options. Sometimes we also see post and select because they are grass herbicides tanked mixed with a broadleaf herbicide such as Sandia in order to get control on both of those but with just one application. Insect problems in pumpkins, of course, cucumber beetles. Unfortunately, these are pictures of some of my plants in my garden and cucumber beetles can cause feeding damage. And just some more examples of that feeding damage on the blossoms, which are essential to getting pumpkins. Also, we see feeding damage on the leaves themselves. And the biggest thing with cucumber beetles is that they can carry bacterial wilt, which is a disease that once it affects the plant and those cucumber beetles can move it from plant to plant, the plant cannot be saved. And so this is a huge problem and why we really work to control this insect. Squash bugs, another terrible insect in pumpkin production. So of course they start out as those little red eggs underneath the leaves and then they gradually grow into the large picture here, the full adult size. They do a lot of damage from feeding and that's not just on the leaves but on the pumpkins themselves. Squash vine borer, another issue. The adult is this moth and they lay eggs and then you'll notice a plant wilting. And if you look at the base of the plant, you might see a hole with sawdust coming out. And that's where that larva is in the stem and it's disrupting that eating system. So insect control, our options are hand picking them off on small plantings. Duct tape actually works great to pull those eggs off. Sticky traps, we can also use trap crops where you're actually planting something that those insects like better and putting your insecticide options on those. We can also look at row covers, but remember these crops need bees to pollinate. So row covers only work as a barrier so long before we have to remove those for pollination. So we do have lots of insecticidal options. Just remember to look at changing those out, the active ingredients, in order that we don't get resistance of those plantings. Disease problems, powdery mildew is a common one that we see depending on when it starts infection. If it's early in the season, you really have to work at control. If it's later in the season, like in this picture where the pumpkins were getting close to harvest, probably not as big of a concern. In pumpkins, we also see lots of rots and some other disease issues, but this is just one that I highlight today. So disease control, resistant cultivars. There are a lot of resistant cultivars out there. So that's in your seed selection and figuring that out. Spacing and airflow is a huge, huge help on helping with that disease control. And of course, perfect weather. 
but the reality is we live in Missouri, so we don't get that. So anything we can do with the resistant cultivar spacing and airflow will help prevent that. And then we have our fungicide options out there. Once again, it is alternating those fungicide options so we don't get resistance. And it is also many times you can do uh, tank mixes of fungicides and insecticides in order to uh, just have one application. And that's a quick wrap up of some pest control in pumpkins. Thank you.